Hey everybody, what's up? It's Joel, AKA The Daily Guru, and it's time for another edition of Music Myths. For today's first music myth, we're gonna talk about the longstanding urban legend that the Dixie Cups classic song, Ico Ico, was actually recorded without them even knowing it. Strangely enough, this one is completely true. It all happened during a warm-up session where due to their New Orleans roots, the trio of singers used the song Giacomo as part of their warm-up routine. While preparing to lay down a few new tracks in 1956, they were doing this, but they didn't know that Mike Stoller had turned on the recording equipment. During this warm-up, the girls were just tapping on ashtrays with drumsticks, and that's why you get such a unique sound and feeling to that song. After the fact, the team of Lieber and Stoller looped in a number of other instruments to fill out the sound, but at its core, that song was recorded without the singers even knowing it. Our next music myth is the one that Chris Christopherson used some overly dramatic way to get Johnny Cash to listen to his demo tapes. This revolves a lot around the fact that Chris Christopherson got into the music industry very late in life on a comparative basis. By the time he started really writing and recording music, he had already been trained as a helicopter pilot by the United States Army, and this eventually led to a job with the National Guard. As part of his duties with the National Guard, he had access to a helicopter on the weekends, and that is where this story becomes completely true. As the story goes, one afternoon, Chris Christopherson flew the helicopter into Johnny Cash's backyard in Tennessee. Cash later admitted that he was blown away by the gusto and bravado that Christopherson showed, and then after hearing one of his songs, Cash was sold on the artist. And if you're wondering, the song that Chris Christopherson first played for Johnny Cash was a little number called Sunday Morning Coming Down. Our final music myth is one of the most popular misconceptions that there's ever been. And that's the idea that ACDC's name as a band refers to a slang term for bisexuality or that it's some sly satanic reference. The fact of the matter is that ACDC is a term used to talk about the alternating versus direct current on electrical lines. This was then taken to the idea of people who are bisexual go both ways, but that was after the band had come up with their name. The whole satanic thing was just a manifestation of conservative parents when they thought that the letters stood for antichrist slash devil's child. Though lots of people have tried to make very, very strong arguments that it does mean one of these other two things. The fact of the matter is, if you look at the ACDC logo, what is it that separates the two sets of letters? That's right, it's an electric bolt. Therefore, cementing the fact that, think what you will, ACDC is an electrical reference. So those are your music myths for this week. I hope you learned something. Make sure to check back here every single day for more music, news, and reviews. Hey!